Wikispeed 2013, September 15th, brake line fittings. Here we have the Willwood Master Cylinder, and I set its part number out here so we could see it. It's part number 2606766, uh, one, inch uh, one inch master cylinder. And then this uh, brake line bias adjuster, so it adjusts how much pressure goes to the rear brake versus the front. And it is Willwood part number 2601179. What we need to know is what type of fitting plugs in here. And so for everybody who needs to order one of these to build theirs, it says here in the, in the kit, but you can order it ahead of time by looking here. Its outlet is 1 8 inch 27 thread NPT, which I believe means it tapers. So look at the side of the uh, flare fitting you're going to put in, the line fitting you're going to put in, and see if it tapers. That would mean it's NPT. Then, uh, so that goes here. So that line, you have a 3 16 brake line coming out, and it has that flare, and then it goes into a T with any flare you want, because the flare just has to match whatever T you're using. Um, and then it goes into the proportioning valve. Well, the proportioning valve threat, uh, nuts, line nuts, actually come in the Willwood kit here. So it comes with these. Um, but uh, if you need more, luckily Willwood tells us what they are in case you don't have a, uh, a measuring gauge to tell you what they are. It says they are 3 8 24 thread, 3 8 inch diameter, 24 thread, so 24 threads per inch, um, and then flare them with SAE inverted flare to standard 3 16 brake line. So we go from here to a T and out of the T into two 3 16 brake line fittings, and then we need three more 3 16 brake line fittings. One goes to uh, the rear, uh, the front left, one goes to the front right, and then one goes to another T. So again, you need whatever fittings you want to use here on this T, which then goes to the right rear and the right left.